What's up guys and welcome back to the Seven Kingdoms mod for Attila Total War. I'm here with Scrim. Hello everybody. And today we are doing the Battle of Stone Mill. You may not have heard about it. It is part of the uh, War of the Five Kings um, war. And uh, it's taken part between Edmund Tully, who is over there, uh -huh. and, uh, and Gregor Clegane, which is somewhere in that Lannister horde. So <laughs> I'll give you a quick history before we start. Basically, when Rob Stark is uh, off in fighting in the crag um, and taking that, Edmund Tully um, is told to defend the Riverlands against the Lannister ho host. And then uh, the uh, Gregor Clegane basically makes a foray across. Uh, the Riverlands tries to burn stuff down. and um, I like burning. Yes, he likes burning stuff. And then uh, Edmund Tully goes out to... To meet him, he's like, "Well, well, we'll leave River Run and we'll go out and meet him." And uh, he meets him at the Stone Mill, which is somewhere near River Run. And um, it's a in his well in Game of Thrones history, it's a Tully victory. The um, Gregor Clegane gets pushed back, losing about four hundred men, while Edmund Tully loses about two hundred. Um, and uh, Rob Stark's a bit pissed at Edmund Tully for doing that, even though he wins because he would have said that he would have rather have had. Uh, Gregor, Cle Gregor Clegane, uh, also known as the Mountain. I'm going to call him the Mountain. It's easier. Yeah. Um, I'd he wished he'd rather had the Mountain come deeper into the river Riverlands, so he could have trapped him and uh, either captured and killed him and destroyed his army. But instead, because of uh, uh, the Mountain being beaten back, um, he was able to go and join Tywin Lannister at the Battle of the Blackwater, which we all know how that ends. Basically, with Stannis defeat. So yeah. That is uh, a quick history for you guys, and now uh, Fun times. and now now we can like battle commence if you want. So it's all up to you, Scrim. To uh... no, I'm gonna go home. See you later. <laughs> gonna, I'm just gonna fall back home. Uh, no, let's let's see what I'm going to do. I'm not gonna do it quickly. I'm just gonna surprise you. Okay. All right. I'll let you do that. So yeah. So this is basically lances are attacking. You've got to come across this uh, river crossing, and. Um, which I guess is sort of like Stone Mill. It's somewhere over there. So yeah, it's just quite an interesting battle when I looked it up and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. It's just a bit of lore and history kicking in the background. Yeah, I just, I don't know why all of a sudden since like the disappointment of season eight, I've almost like gone back and looked at the older series and like read, and I was, I'm reading the books or read the books and, um, there's like loads more battles than that you just don't hear about in the uh, series and it's it's like oh that's pretty cool like this golden tooth where uh, the Lannisters smash um, like the Riverlands forces before they then go and march on the uh, capital river and so that's like season one two like sort of stuff that is this is similar this is also season is this is Blackwater Bay 2 season 2 or is it Blackwater Bay. Oh, season three, I thought. Cause I've... Didn't Tyrion get questioned and put on trial at season four? No, it's not five. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and rewatch more. Let me know in the comments, guys. Is is Blackwater Bay season two or three? I'm pretty sure it's two. Because I thought it was like the big, the big thing that happened. Oh, yeah, my guys are not on fire at will. <laughs> that would have helped. Uh, that would have helped. Uh, well. Would have helped slightly. I was being kind to you, Scrim, and just letting you have... Get away if needs be. <laughs> Give you that final chance. Nah, I'll be alright. <laughs> I'm doing precision shot. So we're gonna shoot you all down. So anyway, let's have a quick look at this side. House Bracken. House Bracken. So yeah, I brought, decided to bring House Bracken and House Malister also to the battle. House Malister was there in the uh, history of it. So Jeremy Lannister. Uh, Lannister. <laughs> Jeremy Malister was uh, leading the forces for the for the Malisters, but House Bracken I just thought I'd bring in just because they look pretty. So yeah, no House Frey yet. I will use them in another oh, in another oh, video. Oh, oh. Okay, good. Oh. No, sorry, I was concentrating very hard there for a second. It's all right. Oh gosh, I'm just watching your men like get absolutely like hurled into like when they charge into the spears, they just got like pushed over the spear and like the wall. It was pretty nasty. Oh wow, your spearmen are really holding their own here. Yeah, I'm. I'm not really. It's gonna take some uh, a bit of micro in. Is this? Yeah, I'm thinking the same. Yeah, 
Yeah, you've nearly broken through. Yeah. Oh, wow. You actually, uh... You actually Let's go over lost here. There. I'm surprised. Is that the first wave of infantry? Yeah, the first wave. Ugh. First wave did okay. Didn't do the greatest, but it did okay. One of them broke very quickly. Some of your guys broke extremely quickly. Okay, can you pull back? <laughs> pull back, man! You weren't expected to go that far. Um, shoot these guys, please. Oh, go okay. back over Hell's here. Draken is, mm, yeah, okay. I'm losing here. Uh, nope. Actually, we'll keep you here. Clegain, go forward. We're marching. We're sending men down. Who's if Link? Oh, it's. Is oh, who's going in here? So we've got the guardsmen. Guardsmen. What is Clegain going in? Uh, he's moving up. Oh yeah, he's at, there at the back. Okay, this is interesting. Oh, and you're breaking through there. Oh, it's not looking good at the moment. Oh, it's looking a wee bit dodgy. Yeah. Ah, oh, micromanaging is such a pain in the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Are these spearmen at least? Good. Don't we like to see? Where am I? Uh... Oh, they're there. My men are giving up? Oh no, that's not allowed. Do a bit of that. You can start running. You can go in there. Ho oh, ho, it just charges my pikes. Very nasty. I am literally just piling things in. No, nah, micromanaging like hell. <laughs> that too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I broke a lot of your stuff there in that charge. Please start Cavalry, going quicker Cavalry than what you Cavalry just want. like smashes, yeah. Also, uh, in the history of this, um, the only way that Ed Mertilli won it was by committing his reserves, and that's certainly on one side how I'm going to win it by the oh. looks of it. Yeah, my right side has collapsed. Yeah. So it may come, turn into a bit of a pitch battle in a minute. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not looking so healthy on the other side. Yeah, you're not really, but I'm not sure what's going to happen here either. In what sense? Well, I might... You broke up there, man. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'm a bit sure. Fire arrows with bingo. It's just um it's very 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 frustrating. Oh there we go. Right, we've broken your arches and now we loop behind and we take them all out. And then we, and then I go after your, oh, come on, who are these, who are these, oh, these mounted horsemen need to hold, they've held for so long, come on, Gregor, again, shoot these guys down. It is close, but I think I've probably done it just. Come on, boys. You need to do this. Charge. It's literally all the infantry just run away. Yeah. Uh, just, just get these guys. Move up, move up, move up. Oh, the cavalry are here. 
Oh, okay. We shall make a stand. This will not work, but we will try. <laughs> yeah, covering this just decimate. So I, I feel for you right now. But it's just no rough. idea who they were shooting at. They just shot in thin air. Clegor was just not looking very decent either. <laughs> That's a nasty charge there, and there's going to be another one in a minute coming in from Edmo Tully. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. God. Oh. Uh. It was a worthy fight and a worth a worthy battle. Scrim. Unfortunately, not to be. It was not to be. Uh, it's hard to assault. Uh, it really is. You nearly did it. You broke through on this side. Ah, that, I just saw that. Yeah. Now, that's nasty. How is Gregor Kagan still alive? Oh, why are you cheering? You're going to die. <laughs> oh God. Oh, wow. they, oh, how is he still alive? Is he just died? There's one. There's one left. Yeah, Gregor. Where is he? Let's I think find it's him. Gregor. Yeah. Yeah, Gregor. Gregor's dead. Oh, he's just died yet. Yeah. God. Oh. Quick look at the uh, end battle uh, results. That was awful. That was just that last um, fire, like, volley was just decimated. I mean, yeah. some of my guardsmen got like 146. Pike's got 100 kills. One of my swordsmen didn't get anything. Yeah, I've just seen that. I wonder if that was one of the ones that um, broke quite quickly on the left flank. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure. But, um, I mean, that's quite surprising because the Lannister troops are really, really good. Um, I only just held on, I think, because I brought things like pikes. Um, what it was, I think, is because when I'm charging through water, the charge just completely gets negated because they're going so slowly. Mm. Against a shield wall, no less. Yeah. If we were to do it again, I think... Um, or a similar sort I of think I'll take some artillery. That's what would happen. <laughs> Maybe. Or I'll um, go, like, halfway into the water as well so neither of us have, like, that bonus. Of like being on the yeah, dry true, land. actually, yeah. But um, yeah, I mean that was that was a good battle, uh, Scrim. Thank you for uh, joining. I no worries. And, good to uh, see you. All. Yeah. Until next time, guys. Bye for now.